Menace one five. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect. Look at this health on the Templar. That's a lot of health. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. So I already see someone over here. On the move. Oh, we have a mech in here. Nice. That's the resistance mech. Hey, that's always a little bit of extra firepower. I won't say no to that. What's over there? Go, go, go! Ten four. Getting it done. Solid copy. Oh, that's like a resistance person. Uh, no, that's my advisor in here. Right. Okay. Absolutely. I'm on it. Those stay put. Got it covered. No trespassers. Moving to Overwatch. We've spotted the chosen. Get ready to fight. So. So for anyone who doesn't know, by the way, uh, chosen work very differently here. Uh, they are different in general. Their weaknesses are not nearly as strong as in vanilla and in the case of the hunter specifically he's going to run away from me when i hit him like every time for the most part and the, they're just tougher in general however they will never show up in regular missions they only show up in specific mission types like retaliation here yeah so they are generally tougher but they don't show up randomly in every mission just in very specific mission types Oh great, uh, now I'll set myself on fire when I move. Okay, I want to grab that uh, civilian over there. Tactical movement. Those okay. <laughs> Commando already, okay. Seems a little bit early for that, but all right. Okay, 67% chance to pull the Grenadier. Not too bad. Uh, let's get this person out. Back here, I guess. I don't really want to waste that missile, but I want to do some damage here. I do have a shot, but it's not a particularly good one. We can go to the high ground. And this guy does have snapshot. But my chance to hit might be pretty low after moving. Uh, okay, 59. Still not bad. Uh, let's take that shot. Okay, well, I'll take it. This fire is a bit unfortunate. But okay. I need to take down that commander. Uh, that should do it. And uh, that's some so focus for our Templar if we can get there. Dozen. Well, not right now. Uh, we still got a Grenadier, but he's too far away to do much. So I'm not too worried about him. Location confirmed. So hold on, this is a slightly different retaliation type than I had before. Not quite sure where I want to place the Skyranger here. Probably back here to keep it relatively safe. But at the same time, the closer I place it to the zone wall, uh, the longer it will take me to actually get there once I move further in. So it might actually be better to have it more in the middle, like in this area. <sighs> Stupid fire. I'll just have to heal myself. Rolling. Oh well. Such a waste of a medkit, though. I could just take some damage, but it's up to free damage. I don't think I want to take it. These two guys are too far away. I can't do much about them. No, that will not remove it. Not in long war. And there's the hunter. Can I do anything about the hunter? Probably not. 
There is one thing I could do, actually. It's a little risky. I do still need cover against these two guys, so... Yeah, this is a bit risky. But here's what we can do. We can move closer to him. Then... Use combat presence. And then hit him with a shredder gun. Or just with a normal frag grenade. That works too. I don't think I can set him on fire, but incendiary grenade would also do good damage. I'm pretty sure he's immune to the actual burning effect, though. It actually doesn't say he's immune to fire, just stun, disorient, and the frost. Doesn't say anything about fire, so that should work in theory. He does take less damage from explosions, but that's okay. Okay, not a bad idea. Let's go with that. Okay, he is burning. Yeah, so like I said earlier, when I hit him, he will move. Which makes him pretty annoying to deal with. Uh, now, we do have a commando in here. So this guy has 95 aim. And uh, he also has, like, dodge. And I can't really get line of sight. Like, at all. Uh, okay, I kind of can. Hunt him down. Got it, moving. Would be nice to stun him. Alright, 74% chance to stun him, and the rest is disorient. Nice. So then I can flank him easily on the next turn. Now, anything else? Any actual damage I could do here? It seems pretty unlikely. We can send the Templar as bait. Most of my people are just a little bit too far away. To do a whole lot. I need to get closer. Medical detail. Let's get on already. Oh yeah, he had a very high base health. And then I gave him some extra health. So that added up nicely. Okay, well that's my like advisor dude. That was close. Here's the grenadier. I'm not sure what he was shooting. I think one of the resistance people. Want to attack here? The most dangerous game. Hardly. Heal back, go through. The best way to deal with the chosen would be to attack him from the opposite direction. Because then there's a good chance he will move towards the rest uh, of my squad. But kind of easier said than done. I can't really move far enough to do that. Okay, Guardian also has Overwatch. Because I don't need to deal with him quickly or he will keep doing damage. Still, easier said than done. Okay, this would give me two focus. So probably a good idea. Let's do that. I suppose that's what Free focus even. Nice. Back on the tactical side, Commander. Okay. Now we got that stunned commando. I need to kill him while he's stunned. And there's the viper that can flank me. Which I'm not too happy about. But I need to kill the commando. Yeah, 57. I don't have run and gun anymore, so I might have to take that shot. No. Not good. Still got the mech here. Let's check chance to hit. Okay, 47 on that grenadier in the bag. Nope. I'm still a bit too far away with like half of my squad. And there's a civilian back here. Can I even kill that commander on this turn? I'm not convinced that I can. I'm not convinced that I can. Maybe. I could pull him in. Because he's just too far away from most of my squad right now. That's the problem. 
So I think pulling him in would work best. But I have to do it from the low ground. I'm just ignoring the Viper for now. Yeah, still only 57. It's because of his dodge, that's the problem. It's because he has evasive. It would be best if I actually hit him with someone first. Then I could use justice. I think I'll have to ignore this hunter for now. I, I just can't deal with him right now. Sure thing. Okay, so now he will lose the evasive bonus. Now I can justice his ass. It's still not 100, but it's higher than before. There we go. Now some other people will be able to shoot him. Like Clara. Or Spartan. Or Manti. Alright, so that will be a kill, but maybe somebody else can do it. Uh, Clara is back here. Okay. A Spartan has one action left, so he could do it. Only 15% chance to graze. No need to waste combat protocol here. And then I could do maybe some damage to the hunter. I don't think I can kill the grenadier from where I am right here. It seems very unlikely. Back in. It's not going to be a lot of damage, but oh well. That's just how it goes against these guys. I can kind of get line of sight to the grenadier, but then I will be flanked by the hunter. Which is not ideal, to say the least. But I don't exactly have a lot of options. Alright, that's better. Okay, let's stun the Viper because I don't want somebody to get pulled in all the way there. I can't deal with the Grenadier right now, so I'll just have to leave him alone on this turn. Uh, this is my last move with the Devilish. So, yeah, not a whole lot he can do really. Cover down here really sucks. Actual garbage cover. Not happy about that. I guess I could dash to grab the civilian, which might not be a terrible idea. That is actually not a terrible idea. There we go. Oh, don't tell me it's a faceless. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, I thought it's a faceless for a second. That would have been annoying. Alright, so it's not too bad so far. Okay, I don't really care about that guy too much. He was like a squaddy uh, for the Haven. The Chosen captured one of our soldiers, Command. We should reach out to our contacts in the Resistance to work out a rescue plan. This won't end well for you. He was expendable, Bradford. I've seen it. Okay, now I can actually attack him from this direction. Uh, no guarantee that will make him move, but there's a chance. A uh, chrysalid, sectoid. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I think this is the best option here, if I can hit him from this direction. So, 60% chance to hit him. There we go, that's also shred. Okay, no, combat readiness, he doesn't want to move. Alright then. Slightly irritating. Uh, one thing I could though is actually use invert on him because that works. We used it during one of the other streams. I'm a bit out of position to use it right now, so I think it's best if I wait one turn with that. Get it together. Maybe you're not meant for the field. Weak hit. 
This is going to be like 3 4 damage at a time. Yeah, he still doesn't want to move. Well, I can use teamwork again if I really want to. 11% with the mech, okay. And missed again. At least the grenadier is too far away to really do much. So one thing I could do now is use Shredder Gun from this direction. That will be decent guaranteed damage. Maybe even worth doing. I might get flanked by the grenadier. But really, the hunter is my main concern right now. Not a problem. Oh, that will trigger these guys, okay. Well, I can deal with that, I think. I hate his stupid bonuses. That makes him really annoying to hit with, like, literally anything. Okay, I won't be able to use teamwork if I move in this direction. Which means I could use my focus first and then charge. So maybe vault the chrysalid and then hit the chrysalid. I could also vault the hunter to make him easier to hit. That's an option. And he's vulnerable uh, to Templars as well. It doesn't add as much damage as it does in unmodded or vanilla XCOM rather, or standard modded XCOM, but it's still extra damage. And then I can use advanced teamwork. So let's actually go with that. How many more people can do something? Okay, a few. Should be enough, I think. Okay, Vault. Maybe now he will move? Come on, move your ass. Nope, he doesn't want to move. Fine, whatever. Right, I could probably kill the Sectoid, but I obviously want to kill the Chrysalid. So, Garante is a bit out of position to do much. Best he can do is use Arc Pulsar again. That's pretty much it. Sure yep. Thing. So, probably on the Viper. Because it will have one action on the next turn. There we go. Okay, now I don't have to worry about it. It will be stunned for two and a half turns. We can basically ignore it for now. Who can hit the chrysalid? Somebody has to. Okay, I can actually do something like this. Move over here, shoot the grenadier, and then shoot the chrysalid. Nice. So then shoot the chrysalid. Yeah, it's only 61%, not great. A flashbang might also be a good idea. Yeah, let's flashbang the grenadier and the sectoid. You might as well start throwing rocks. Now, still got that chrysalid over there, and I still want to kill it. Obviously. I guess shredder gun in this direction is really the best option. Hit both the chrysalid and the sectoid. Or grenade their ass. Yeah, grenade will not be good enough. It won't hit them both. Okay, Shredder Gun it is then. There we go. Now I can kill the Chrysalid with the Templar. In fact, uh, I could do it with the Vault almost. It's still not guaranteed because I might still graze, but I got a backup plan in case it doesn't work. Feel the power of the Templar. Okay, yeah, we need four more damage. It will take more. So now I can kill it with combat protocol. That's affirmative. That will do the trick. I think Advent's been letting some of the rejects slip. Okay. And probably use the shield. He can be sort of a bait. Uh, not yet, though. We're not done yet. I still got command. That probably won't do me that much good right now. Well, I mean, that's not the true. I could move towards Clara and then give myself command. That would actually work. And then I could vault the sectoid, for example. 
so uh, that's not a bad idea. All right, let's go with that. And then we can evolve the sectoid. That will kill the sectoid, guaranteed. It's a shame these two are not close enough to each other. And that's okay. Right for all to see. Yeah, there was a civilian all the way in the back. No one's faster. Off by a few inches. Yeah, this guy is really annoying. Get up. What am I doing here? Go patch him up. And back to full health. Okay, I seriously need to kill this guy, like on this turn preferably. So let's see, best way to do it. Well, best way to do it would be hitting him with the vault again. So, I think I can run that Overwatch with the Templar. Uh, I should have used Interference, but a bit too late for that now. Or we can take a shot. I guess that works. 84%. There we go. So that's what that feels like. Yeah, I think he will just keep spamming a combat readiness at this point. But this is basically almost a kill now. So let's grab the Focus here, and then we can hit him with a Vault. That might even be a kill. 5 to 8 damage. My power mocks you. Got it. Nice. Plus 5 ability points. And ability points, like XCOM ability points, are quite valuable in Long War, for anyone who doesn't know. And that Viper will still be stunned. I think the hard part is kind of done now. Still need to actually evac the civilians, but that's all right. Yeah, got some loot in the back. I still need to actually kill that Viper, so let's just move in that direction. Doesn't matter, it's stunned. It still has to die. Yeah, that will do it. Okay, then the Grenadier and the Sectoid. I'm still kind of too far away. One more turn to get run and gun. I think I'll just disorient them again. Can't disorient them both. Well, that's annoying. I think I can command the Templar again. Yes, I can. I'm going. All right, that's the easiest way to do some damage here. My strike surges forth. One damage short on the sectoid, obviously. Uh, I could kill it with a grenade, but I don't really want to destroy loot if I don't have to. Nobody else can really take any more shots. Just guarantee you. But he needs to at least graze, which he might or might not be able to do. Okay, there we go. Got it. Unnecessary 8 damage. <laughs> advanced scope. Nice. That was worth it. I could use advanced scopes. Stay down. All set. Back. Give it for the Templars! Menace one five status confirmed. And we're done. Up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. That was an interesting mission. Mission accomplished. Right, well, Misa will be unavailable for 25 days, but at least he's not dead. We got 10 alloys, 10 alarium, alarium core, advanced autoloader, advanced scope, and laser sight. 
So not a bad haul. And the coil guns research is almost done. Just a few more days. I had to expect you'd at least win a few of these little battles. The elders wouldn't have wasted this. So I think it might be time to hide in New Australia. Advanced strength is up to five. Let's just hide and go back to South Africa. Setting course for Sector 13, South Africa. I'll still do the liberation chain mission, but I think we're more likely to liberate South Africa. Okay, retribution. Yeah, they will probably sabotage something. Infestation. Extra chrysalids on most missions for a month? How about now? Avenger plotting new core. 540 supplies. Yep, I need those. Okay, that's the mission. So, I bossed it. Alright, 100. It might be a tricky one. 13 to 15 activity. But okay, we're doing it. I wouldn't mind another shinobi. Especially with good stats. 